Uncle Sam, is Bush a bushwhacker? What's a bushwhacker? A bushwhacker is a guy that hides and shoots you from behind the bushes. Well, and don't... you don't see the coming. Is he getting us in a war that we're never going to get out of? We're just going to get people killed endlessly? Yeah, I agree with that. He is going to get people killed. Yeah, because it's not necessary to have a war. Should we get rid of Bush? No, I don't think so. We might get somebody worse. Ah! And who could we go to who's better? Uh, Bill Rodriguez. Bill Rodriguez. You like Willie Rodriguez, yeah, I huh? like his uh, tape. You, wa you watch that tape, huh? Yeah. Another explosion, and the building changed so hard, hard, that you could hear the cracking of the walls again. I made it to work, I made it at 8.30, and I'm on the, I went straight to the B1 office, the basement number, number one. The building has six of levels of basement, B1, B2, B3, all the way down to B6. Now, B1 was the support floor for all the companies for the World Trade Center, meaning American Building Maintenance, I work for that company. A46, we hear, boom! An explosion so loud and so hard that pushes upwards in the air, upwards, an indication that something just blew up below us. Loud, so loud that all the walls cracked, the false ceiling fell on top of us, and everybody started screaming. The sprinkler system got activated. I hear, BAM! All the way on the top. The impact of the plane. Two events separated between six and seven seconds. All right? I said that they never coordinated right. And uh, when that is loud and hit the top, you know the difference. I mean, I worked in the building for 20 years. 20 years, I would very easily tell you when the sound comes from the top and when it comes from the bottom. Very easily. The fax machine fell on the floor and the people started running under the door frame thinking that it was an earthquake because the floor is moving below us. Moving below us. Impossible for them to fly over that area. So that didn't make sense to me. So, no, it cannot be a plane. And the first thing that goes to my mind, oh my God, the people from Windows. And I met the people from Windows of the World. Windows of the World was a restaurant that was located on the 106th floor, all the way on the top of the North Tower. And I was supposed to be there. I was supposed to be there. Ladies and gentlemen, I was supposed to be there. And I told them there was an explosion, there was a, a fire, there's a guy, a, a bird, uh, there's water everywhere, you gotta get out. Get out now! I'm an activist. I've been against the war in Iraq. I have been vilified by my own government. And another thing you guys don't know national hero, and they put me on the no fly list. Oh. I am on the no fly list. And every time that I have to fly and leave the country, I am put in a room, ask questions who's paying for the trip, what am I doing, what am I going to talk about with that, and everything. They always let me go because under the AFTA agreement, uh, Section 148B, established that the person could not be held without charges. And since they have no charges, they have to let me go. But I always lose my plane when I go to these countries, always. But eventually I make it over there and I tell the, the information. The story has to go out. The effort of the families and the victim has to go out. The world is more <coughs> open, more open, because they have been, the President of the United States calls at the White House. When the whole thing with Iraq broke out, he wanted the support of the families of 9-11. And he says, Saddam Hussein is behind 9-11. People will forget about that. So talk to the historians here. They will tell you. And when we said there's no connection between Saddam Hussein and Osama bin Laden, they changed the weapons of mass destruction. But they wanted to make the connection from the very beginning with 9-1-1. Richard Clark, star of intelligence, so that our government have failed you, and they have failed the families of 9-11. Richard Clark, the top intelligence guy, please help as much as you can. Okay, we've got an inform Uncle Sam. He's talking about Willie Rodriguez, the guy that worked 20 years at the World Trade Center and knows for a certain fact, because he was in the subfloors on 9-11, that explosions were detonated down below to blow out the foundation so it come down as a perfect demolition. 
846, we hear, boom! An explosion so loud and so hard that pushes upwards in the air, upwards, an indication that something just blew up below us. So Uncle Sam is really cued in. He's He's got his... His ABCs lined up today because he's watched that. That was a pretty amazing video, wasn't it? Oh, amazing. I liked it. I mean, I didn't what? like it, but, uh, but uh, I, I couldn't believe what I saw. Yeah, and you heard it firsthand right there. Yeah, I heard from you. For, I told you where to go, but then... No, you... don't tell me where to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're live in the studio. <laughs> Uncle Sam is the live wire tonight. I'm, not, I'm on a high. He, he's on a he's on full octane. 80 years and going strong. We got Uncle Sam with us. We got Freedom Man. What he's referring to is I'll tell you the place to go and see it and hear Willie Rodriguez himself. It's called 911 Keymaster. 911 Keymaster.com and you can watch Willie Rodriguez Puerto Rican dialect English as clearly as he can how the demolition charges were set off and he felt the floor heave up and he was already in the basement. Boom! An explosion so loud and so hard that pushes upwards in the air. Upwards. An indication that something just blew up below us. When he felt the floor heave up. So until you've seen 911keymaster.com or watched Loose Change, which they've just taken off the internet, I don't think it's on their website anymore. You have to go to YouTube, I think, still has it. But if you go to 911keymaster.com, You'll understand why Willie Rodriguez is Uncle Sam's choice for president, because he's a lone American who stood up for the truth when ABC, CBS, Fox News is giving you a pile of baloney.